Thank you for purchasing a Synology router. In a few minutes, you will have access to the various features of Synology Router Manager. But first, let's walk through the recommended steps to complete your setup. We will be using a Synology RT2600AC throughout our demo today. Before you begin, download the DS Router app from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and install it on your mobile device. Turn the four antennas clockwise to attach them to your router in the indicated spots. Next, place your router in a central and unobstructed spot, checking for any objects that could hinder the Wi-Fi signal. Now, unplug your modem and turn off and disconnect all other routers on the network. This helps avoid hardware conflicts later on. With an Ethernet cable, Connect your modem to the blue WAN port on the back of your Synology router. Plug in and power on your modem and wait until it is fully booted up. This could take a couple of minutes. Plug the power adapter into your Synology router and turn it on by pressing the power button. You can sit back. It can take a couple of minutes until the LED indicators turn green and stop blinking. Your Synology router's Wi-Fi network is now available. Connect to the router with your mobile device using the router's default Wi-Fi name and password. The Wi-Fi name starts with Synology underscore and ends with the last six digits of the serial number on the bottom of the router. On your device, open Wi-Fi settings and select the Wi-Fi name. The default password is Synology. Open the DS Router app and tap Set up new router. Wait for the app to locate your new router and tap Start to begin. Set a username and strong password for your router's admin account. Next, you will have to choose a name and password for your Wi-Fi network, as well as select your location in the next step, we recommend that you select the default wireless router mode. Unless you wish to use the router as a Wi-Fi access point, then select Wireless AP. If you wish to remotely monitor network traffic, control connected devices, and install firmware updates, you can now enable Allow External Access to SRM. Next, choose your connection type. Specific internet service providers require that subscribers configure advanced settings. These settings can be found inside special requirement from ISP. In case of doubt, please contact your provider before configuring your router. You can confirm your settings by tapping Apply. Review the terms of service and tap Agree to complete the setup. It is now time to connect your new Wi-Fi now that you've successfully set up your network, you can choose to sign up for Quick Connect, Synology's service that lets you access your router from anywhere in the world without configuring port forwarding or other network settings. To do so, create a Synology account or sign in to an existing account before you proceed. Enter a Quick Connect ID that will identify your device and tap Submit to complete the setup. To get started and explore the functions of your router, tap Start Managing in the app. As a first stop, it is smart to go to Update. Enable Auto Update to protect your router against future security threats, and then install the newest updates. Enjoy your new router! You can also discover additional features of Synology Router Manager by visiting router.synology.com from any web browser. To learn more about getting the most out of your Synology router, subscribe to the Synology YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching.